Hello, I know the last video was on multiple linear regression, and now we're going back to simple linear regression, but we are going to introduce a qualitative variable. I have our scenario set up here, and we want to answer the question, does hair color have an impact on test scores? So we have two variables. One is a qualitative for hair color, and we're going to assume that everyone is grouped into three categories, either blonde, red, or brown. And then we have test scores here, just out of 100, so 57, 78, so on. So now, how do we go about doing this? How do we go about taking this qualitative variable, the blonde, red, and brown, and then transferring it into something numeric so that we can model it in SAS? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do this, but I'm going to set up with two dummy variables, and I'll show you what they're going to equal here. My dummy variables are just going to be called D1 and D2. And what I mean by a dummy variable is really it's just going to be a binary variable. It can have two possible values, either a zero or a one, and that is it. So I'm going to create two of these. And then here is what they're going to be used for. So D1 is going to equal one if the person is blonde and zero otherwise. D2 will equal one if the person has brown hair and zero otherwise. And then if they're both zero, that means they're a redhead. And I think it's easiest to view this with a table, and I have a table here. So we have variables D1 and D2 for our dummy, dummy variables, and we have blonde, brown, red, and then this table shows uh, what values of D1 and D2 will correlate to a specific hair color. So 1, 0 gives you blonde, 0, 1 gives you brown, 0, 0 gives you red. And when I started to set this up, some of you might have been wondering why I only chose two dummy variables when there are three possible options for hair color. But now that you can see, that last case is just handled when they're both zero. So if there were five possible options, I would still only choose four dummy variables. Okay, so let's go back to SAS now and let's talk about the model that we're going to end up using. The model that we're going to use for our regression line is going to look like this. We're going to have y hat is equal to beta zero, of course, because that's just our intercept. And then we'll have beta one times the first dummy variable and then beta 2 times the second dummy variable. But remember, all of this is just to determine the hair color. So that just determines if the person's blonde or has brown hair or red hair. So we have our model now, but how do we go about converting these hair colors into our coding scheme with these dummy variables? If I run this right now, it's just going to give us this result. And we have our observations, we have their scores, and the hair colors. What I want to do is add two more columns here, one for D1, one for D2, that's coded according to the coding scheme we just talked about. And if you've ever programmed in any other language, this is going to look familiar to you, and what we're going to use is just an if statement. And so right above data lines, our if statement will state if hair equals blonde, make sure blonde's uh, surrounded in single quotes, then D1, which is our new variable, equals one semicolon. Then at the end, we'll add an else, and it's just going to be else D1 is equal to zero. And this just matches the coding scheme I wrote out earlier. So D1 is equal to one if blonde, yes, and zero otherwise, yes, else D1 equals zero. So now let's run this and make sure that it adds that D1 column and that it's coded correctly. Okay, we have our D1 column, that looks good. This is blonde, so it should be one. Everything else should be zero if it's not blonde. So yes, everything looks good. Now let's just do the same thing for D2. So now D2 will almost be the exact same, except it'll be if hair now is equal to brown, then D2 is equal to one, else D2 is equal to zero. And now let's run this, make sure we have our two columns now. And that looks good, D1, D2. And now our coding scheme should be complete. So if it's blonde, it'll be one, zero. Redheads are zero, zero, and brown is zero, one. That looks good. And everything looks good. Now, believe it or not, the hard work is already over. If you've already done some simple linear regression in SAS, then it should be easy from here on out. All we're going to do is just proc reg. You can specify data demo now we're going to model in this case it'll be score usually it's y equals x1 or x2 but in this case it will be score is equal to not hair color but it's going to be d1 d2 and now we can run remember once we run this we should have estimates for beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 
and everything looks good in here. If you want an estimated regression line, you could come down here and say, well, beta zero is equal to 82, beta one is equal to negative 6.33, and beta two is equal to negative 15.67. So that all looks good. But let's go back to our original question here. The original question stated, does hair color have an impact on test scores? To answer this, we would really use an overall F test. Since the only variable we have in here that's affecting score is just this hair color, we can just use an overall F test. With the null being uh, beta one equals beta two equals zero, and what this is really saying is that hair color is not significant, then our alternate hypothesis is going to be that hair color is significant, or at least one of these in this case is significant. So let's assume our alpha value is 0 0.1. Uh, we'll be lenient at 0 0.1, and now let's go back to our results, and we see that our p-value for an overall f-test is 0 0.7. So even with an alpha of 0 0.1, we still fail to reject. So we fail to reject null since p-value is greater than alpha, which means that beta 1 and beta 2 are not significant, and that hair color is not a significant predictor of test scores as we would suspect.